Hey mini enthusiasts, how are you doing? Welcome back, it's part 21 of the classic mini workshop project kit build. So this week, by popular demand, we're having a bit of a change up in music. I was getting bored of the relaxing piano music myself. We'll probably come back to it, but um, we'll have something different for the time being. So I'm sure Piper Doug will be gutted. So as you can see, we're getting some paint on the top half of the car now. So Mark's just going around and getting everything in just high build primer at the moment. I probably won't waffle on as much as I do in the other kit videos, um, just because I've said a lot of it before. So sit back, enjoy, and I will speak up when I see something that might be of interest. In a break from the bodywork bits, I'm out the back. You don't see me much in these videos lately. That's because I'm out in the little workshop putting bits back together. So as you can see here, here's all the suspension components. They've all been sandblasted, shot blasted off, and then painted with three coats of hammerite. I was cursing Mark a bit because he's painted the insides, outsides, and everywhere with hammerite. So it does make shimming up the bushes and things like that a bit more interesting. So just some parts here, as you can see, we're using Timkin bearings front and rear. They're about three times, four times more expensive, but they work. And a set of genuine mini spares quality swivel kits and shimmed up properly. So using a micrometer there to measure the gap and then work out what shim is required rather than just guessing, which is what I used to do. But it's much easier if you measure them. As you can see, there's a subframe there, a bit of a teaser picture of that a few weeks ago. It's in candy apple red. Uh, it looks really, really nice. And they're just the Timkin bearings. You can see they're actually hand marked. Um, the bearings are matched with the races, so you mustn't mix them up. And like I say, they're expensive, but what you get is quality. Same with the swivels, really. So mini spares, 8.4 inch. Uh, vented brake kit. I'm sure someone's going to tell me the brake discs are on the wrong way round. They are just put there, resting there at the moment. Might need to turn them round. Not even sure if they're sided, but I do remember that with the cab brakes on Project Bolt. And I think in the end it turned out they weren't sided anyway. But obviously we will check that. All primed need to uh, key it ready for spraying in black later. 
the engine bay I take my hat off to Mark, preparing for paintwork, flattening back, keying the surfaces, getting it all prepped is about the most boring thing you can do ever. Uh, aside from shot blasting, that's pretty boring actually, I had a go at that the other day, shot blasting the radius arms. It's fun for about 10 minutes and then it's just really, really boring. But prep work is... 90% of the job. The paint work doesn't take long at all. Once you've got the paint in the gun, it's all done and dusted very quickly. And it's a prep work which makes it look great. So, as you can imagine, Mark's done all the prep work actually. I've, I've helped out for about 20 minutes, I think. Um, but it's, yeah, it's boring. It's mind numbing. Mark's just going over the panels here with just some. Um, uh, like paint prep wipe, can't think what it's called. Someone will correct me. Just with like a uh, lint-free cloth, just so it doesn't leave any dust behind or bits of cloth. And then it's masking up. When you sort of see the amount of work that goes into doing something like this and this was a relatively light restoration really the shell on kit wasn't that bad we've done probably a little bit more than we needed to do just to make sure it was really solid and really good but uh, i can't imagine an early 60s sort of bump find you know something like that that's rusted to pieces you know when when people say to me, a body shop have quoted £3,000 to paint a car, I can fully understand why now. If they're going to do it properly, the amount of work involved, the time, the labour, the effort, uh, yes, there's a lot to do. said I wouldn't waffle much didn't I but I'm just watching this and uh, yeah doing prep work is almost as boring as watching prep work I'm sure some of you guys enjoy it but uh, I'm just sitting here watching back the video editing it uh, and I just wondered actually so uh, edit, editing these videos uh, especially the kit ones are a nightmare for me because they are very long videos. They're recorded in real time, uh, and then I generally speed them up to about 60, 
eight or 16 times. So what we end up with is probably one to two SD cards, so 128 to 256 gig of video files uh, that sit on the SD cards. And if you know GoPro's numbering system that does it by chapters and volumes, it can be a nightmare putting it all back into order. So if anyone's got any hints there, let me know because it drives me barmy. I uh, probably some last night I think I spent about an hour just putting everything back in the right order. Anyway, I'll shut up because it's getting interesting. We're getting some paint on here. Uh, wow, that's looking pretty shiny, isn't it? That's a great finish there by Mark. Barely any crap in the paint at all. And the gloss on that is amazing. And just imagine the outside of the car is going to be black gloss like that, but it's going to have sparkles in it as well. So Mark's already done a test panel and it looked really cool. So I can't wait. It's going to be this week, so this time, I think. There's the boot. Quite difficult to see. Mark was a bit gutted because there was a bit of dust that got in the paint of the boot. Very, very difficult because it's uh, lots of places for dust to hide in there. And of course, when you start spraying the spray gun around, it blows everything everywhere. But fortunately, the dust was in the spare wheel well, so... That ain't going to be visible once the wheel's in there and the boot trim and everything like that. But like I say, as you can see, it's looking great as it is. And they're just on the areas you don't see. Then that's not on the main bodywork. So the main bodywork will be gloss black with sparkles in the paint as well. Just when you thought it was getting exciting, we are back to preparing the inside of the car now. So again, it all has to be keyed, flat back, cleaned out. 
and prepared for paint. Right now, if you're sitting there enjoying this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. In fact, do it now. And if you don't enjoy it, don't give it a thumbs down. Turn the video off, go and watch something else. Don't like thumbs downs. Seem a bit pointless unless someone leaves a bit of feedback telling me why. But uh, always happy to listen to your comments, good or bad. I have found on YouTube there's some real experts out there, people that know far more than I do, and they've been really helpful along the way, so thank you very much guys, really, really appreciate it. And I've been trying to do an upload of kit about once a week, but what we're finding at the moment is Mark, Mark more than me, Mark's working so fast, I'm struggling to keep up with it, because each of these videos it probably takes start to finish probably about three to four hours of my time and uh, yeah Mark's chucking SD cards at me quicker than I can get them uploaded good news for you guys is I think we're probably on about two uploads a week at the moment on average and I'm sure there'll be another one soon after this one Mark's just giving a final go over prep with the hoover there. It is difficult to keep it clean because you think of the amount of cutting and grinding and welding we did on this car. So all that dust and dirt and everything ends up inside the shell. So it can be a real job cleaning it up afterwards. There we go, the interior, all in primer. Not actually gonna see a great deal of paintwork once all the interior is in there. Probably the cross member, although that'll probably get covered up by carpet. Tops of the doors, door frames, rear door bins. But you know what Mark's like, he's a bit of a perfectionist, so. That will all have an amazing finish. Not gonna bore you with the painting bits again. We'll just go, ta-da! And uh, it's done, look at that. I wish it was that easy in reality. But yeah, looking pretty great. So we're getting towards the end of the video again. About 20 minutes. I have another SD card to work my way through. I'm 
think there's one more video. It might be prepping the interior, actually. Can't remember. I'll have to have a look. But the good news is, this week, so it's Monday now, I think by Wednesday, the exterior bodywork will be painted. So, guys, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate your input and catch up with you again very soon.